Welcome to this introductory overview of predictive operational analytics from Smart Vision. Predictive operational analytics is a repeatable application template offering. And the application template is comprised of software supported by tailored services and training delivery. It's designed to enhance your organization's ability to deploy proactive asset maintenance and the management of key resources. The application template utilizes the power and flexibility of data science via IBM's market-leading SPSS modeler software. And this technology enables you to identify and understand patterns in operational data to determine the areas of the greatest risk, such as asset failure or service disruption across your infrastructure network or fleet of assets so that you can direct resources to mitigate that risk before it becomes a reality. Predictive operational analytics will allow your organization to, among other things, find patterns in maintenance operations that could point to opportunities for quality and reliability improvements, identify assets that are at risk of failure, even if they have no previous failure history, identify factors that increase ownership cost or downtime over the lifetime of that system or asset, mine and categorize the free text from error logs and engineer notes so that you can enhance the accuracy of the predictive modeling and predict the impact or consequence of service failure to enhance alarms management so that key alarms events are prioritized based upon their likely impact. So how does effective operational analytics actually work? Well, in a nutshell, effective operational analytics applications utilize historical data from multiple sources. And that data might refer to environmental factors such as weather conditions or ambient temperature, it may refer to how customers or field technicians and engineers interact with assets and equipment. So things like maintenance history or notes from inspection or customer feedback. Then you have asset information itself, such as the type of machine that it is, the type of equipment, the material it's comprised of and the age of that asset, as well as any behavioral data that we can gather, such as telemetry, alarms, events, whether they be failures or faults. And we do this in order to build accurate and testable predictive models. And those predictive models might be estimating things like the likelihood of a new component part being required, or the percentage chance of a failure, or the probability of a repeat error, or even something to do with the condition under which the asset is performing, such as the temperature. And in turn, these models generate predictions and risk scores. And those risk scores and predictions can then be incorporated into operational systems or insight and reporting platforms. And by doing so, organizations are able to identify opportunities and risks. In the screenshot that we're looking at now, we can see a list of turbine IDs, as well as associated information regarding the risk profile of each turbine ID. So column B shows the previous risk score and column C shows the current risk score whereas columns D and E refer to the risk rank of that asset. In other words, what the risk profile is of that particular asset relative to all of the other assets across the estate. And this particular organization was interested in identifying assets where the risk rank changed dramatically over time so that they could intervene proactively and mitigate the risk before it actually became a reality. And this sort of approach allows them to drive much smarter decisions and drive more proactive interventions to maintain the availability of the asset and reduce the number of unexpected failures. So to lead us into the next example, we're going to introduce a case study and give a demonstration of the predictive operational analytics software and how it was used to address three key areas for a company that really wanted to adopt a much more data-driven approach to the proactive maintenance strategy. So this case study relates to a maintenance company responsible for ensuring a network of cellular base transceiver stations, otherwise known as a mobile phone network. And the stations themselves vary greatly in terms of the nature of location. Sometimes they're in very remote areas. Sometimes they're in highly populated uh, urban areas. Uh, the range of equipment within each station can vary greatly, as can the age of the assets and the ability of them to take different data loads the size of the sites and the complexity of the sites vary also. The maintenance jobs themselves tend to be related to issues such as power loss or false transient alarms, resetting equipment, 
sometimes actual replacement of equipment such as electronic equipment failure, weather events and even vandalism and theft. And each one of these issues can generate a task for that company to go out and maintain that particular site or that particular asset. The time taken to resolve each task is critical to the operational efficiency and the profitability of the business. And the company wanted to be able to better anticipate and resolve maintenance tasks so that they could avoid costs associated with overrunning, increase the productivity of the workforce by enabling them to complete more tasks per day, and also understand what drives part failure and repeat visits to the same site. And as such, they wanted to be able to predict when a spare part is required as opposed to simply needing to go out and reset the equipment. Uh, order parts ahead of dispatching the technician to minimize delay. So in other words, could they actually predict which spare part was required and could they order that part so that the technician could pick it up on site? Or identify which sites are likely to require another visit within 20 days so that preventative action could be taken to mitigate that risk.